Hi and welcome to Delaware Auto Sales this evening. This is Nathan here. Thanks for taking a look at this Range Rover with me tonight. Uh, we've seen this before. If you follow our channel and our videos perhaps, uh, we actually sold this very Range Rover about a little more than a year ago with 71,000 miles. It currently has 78,000 XXX miles, so it's still a very low mileage truck. SUV, Range Rover, Land Rover. Um, it's a nice one, it's a good one, it's a unique color. Uh, it's called Lugano Teal, is the name of the exterior color. You see a lot of the dark blue ones, which are called Buckingham Blue, I believe. Uh, this is a little bit different. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's still in the family of blue, but with the sun hitting the fender here, you can certainly see how uh, metallic-y it is, and it does have a little bit of like a little bit of a teal-ish but it's I mean, it's more blue than anything but let's take a look around here and then we'll talk about some details it's very clean it's very nice um, runs and drives excellent definitely far better than your average 2006 Range Rover um, we have serviced it this time around we serviced it uh, previously of course before the customer that uh, bought it and has since traded it uh, back to us on another car uh, so we've serviced it twice so uh, initially in, in more than a year ago um, we did uh, and take note of how nice the headlights are super nice and clear and clean very very nice has a clean Carfax take a look at the Carfax on our website um, so at 71,000 miles before the person who just traded it had purchased it we had replaced the front control arms the front sway bar links, uh, the serpentine belt. Uh, that was the bigger stuff that we did back then. Uh, during his ownership, he did a few services, a few oil changes, uh, also replaced the battery in November of 21. So the battery was replaced uh, about, what, six, seven months ago. Uh, currently, the Continental tires that are on it, it's got a real nice Continental Extreme WS, Extreme Contact DWS 06s, all season tires. You can see how nice the tread is. Tread is currently measuring at 8 30 seconds tread, so these tires still have plenty of life. 255, 50, 19. All of the wheels are in nice shape. Let's take a look at them right now. A few little marks around the outside, but very nice overall. So, 8 30 seconds in the front and the back on the tread. The brakes uh, currently, current measurements 10 millimeters in the front, 10 millimeters in the back. So, the brakes are as good as new, front and rear. The 10 millimeters is literally same as new on this vehicle. Uh, we just changed the oil again. So the oil was just changed right now. We also just replaced the compressor for the air suspension. It had started to fail, which was honestly part of the reason why the previous owner was ready to move along to something else. Um, didn't want to spend the money to do it. Uh, but uh, we took care of that, put a new compressor in it, and all is well, and the air suspension works just as it should. So, 830 seconds tires front and rear, 10 millimeters brakes front and rear, just had the oil changed, and the air compressor, uh, air suspension compressor replaced. Uh, all those wheels are in great shape, you can see how nice and even all of the tires are. I know the sun's a little bit bright on this side, so let me just show how nice this paint is on this side real quick. Get a little bit of a, there we go. A little bit of a sun effect there, but it's really, really a nice, nice truck. Let's take a look inside and then we'll look under the engine compartment and listen to the engine. Uh, we can start here in the back, why not? Oh, I didn't unlock it. <laughs> and we'll start in the front. So, real nice beige interior. It's in real nice shape. Uh, Harman Kardon sound system. Love the window controls on this. They're very ergonomically correct when you go to put the window down. Uh, Range Rover OEM rubber floor mats. Look how nice this driver's side seat is and the armrest. You can see, unlock the doors now, you can see how nice even the armrest is, I mean, a couple teensy little marks, but very, very nice. Um, the leather is nice and soft. It's not dry. And there's a little bit of checking here on this side bottom piece, but it's so nice. 
power seat with memory. Look how nice the bolster is on the upper. There's no ripping or tearing or anything crazy like that. Uh, factory sunroof. Shades closed because it's so hot. One touch open. Go ahead and shut that. <laughs> One touch close also. Uh, headliner is real nice on this. Definitely a common problem to uh, sag a bit. There's a small air pocket back there in the back right there, but pretty minor by comparison to most. This sunshade is in great shape also. Uh, up here in the front under this console, we have a cooler. This has the cold box cooler. Um, you can put things in here. It will keep them cold uh, right there. And it's nice and clean. Hasn't been used very much, probably most likely. So there is that little tray for upper stuff. It's your off-road settings for different terrains. This is the air suspension, which I will run up and down here in a moment to show you its operation. The shifter there. The air conditioning works great. Nice and cold in here. Uh, definitely not a smoker's vehicle previously when we sold it, let alone the current owner definitely was not a smoker. Uh, it does have an aux. It's on the back side of this rear console. I'll show you in a moment. Uh, it does have parking beepers. It doesn't have a camera, but it has beepers. It does have Bluetooth phone. So simple, but still uh, easy to operate. Automatic climate control, heated seats in the, in the front. Uh, I think it might have heated seats in the rear. Let's take a look when we go back there. That's the uh, four-wheel drive information screen. Uh, we've got navi factory navigation, which is probably fairly outdated at this point, but it's still here and it still works. There you go. Uh, glove box there, glove box here with the owner's manuals. We do have two keys for this vehicle. This one's in great shape. The second spare key is a perfectly good spare, but the buttons are pretty worn, so it does have two keys, but the second one isn't really very button worthy. 78, 741, our exact mileage right now. Steering wheel, one of my favorite parts of a Land Rover, almost any Land Rovers, I love the horn placement buttons, uh, is how thick the steering wheel is. Uh, probably my absolute favorite steering wheel ever is on a Land Rover Discovery. It was even thicker than this and kind of had a uh, little more tubular shape than, than this is where this is more rounded. But nonetheless, this is very, very nice. The material's in great shape. You have steering wheel audio controls, phone controls. Once your phone is fitted, if you click on the phone button, it'll say no phone fitted because there's no phone paired right now. Cruise control stuff. Um, of course, automatic headlights, which will stay on for a bit of a delay. Uh, when the car is switched off. Oh, um, she meant to show the off-road the off-road programs. Um, so if you turn this dial, it will show you up here. Uh, grass, gravel, snow, mud ruts, sand, and then a rock crawl mode, which is pretty cool. You can only use in four-wheel drive low. Uh, that's the normal mode where it's normal. This yellow button, I can tell a great story that's hard to maybe imagine exactly what I experienced. But you see how that car is going like straight down the hill there? The first time I ever experienced this was back in 19, 2000 maybe, 20 some years ago. A friend of mine bought a brand new Land Rover Discovery, the one that I love with the thick steering wheel. And I'm out in Colorado, where of course it's much more mountainous and dropping hills than it is here in Ohio. And we're out in the mountains and we're shooting some of his weapons and doing crazy things that young guys do. And uh, we go, I, I'm in the very rear of this Discovery, sitting in the jump seats, and we go up this steep incline. And then all of a sudden we just go over it and you can't see what's on the other side. Well, meanwhile, he had put it in four wheel drive low, pushed that button, which is the uh, HDC hill descent control, I believe is what Land Rover calls it. A lot of newer SUVs have this now, but it literally just went up this hill and no exaggeration, this is how it felt and then back down almost like the front, almost like it was just gonna tip over. And the front's going straight down the other side of this hill, but that button will walk the car ever so slowly down the hill so that it doesn't risk slipping sideways and then rolling over. 
So it's very interesting. I'm sure you can find lots of videos on YouTube about it or watching people demonstrate its operation. But my first real life experience, I really didn't know what was happening until he explained it to me later. But I about left my stomach and my lunch uh, let go in the car. Beautiful, beautiful back seat. Uh, rubber mats back here. This does have heated seats in the rear. So we've got four heated seats. There's the aux input with the another power outlet. Don't ask me why they put it on the back side of the console. It's not very convenient for the driver, but once you do plug a cord in, you can keep it back there. This is absolutely beautiful. There's nothing negative about this back seat. It's seen very little use. The backs of the seats are spotless. The door panel is spotless. It's very, very nice. <clears throat> got the big Range Rover mat back here uh, again extra nice power outlet here carpet super clean backs of this carpet super clean it is missing the cargo shade not here wasn't here before but people take those out they put them in their uh, in their garage and that's kind of where they live there's the tools and the tray everything's there like it should be this back panel it's in great shape So yeah, so that's my story about hill descent control and uh, and uh, Colorado. Oh, I can't do this with one hand. I didn't shut it all the way. <laughs> uh, there we go. Got to shut it a little bit harder. Um, back seat again. Now maybe I forgot about these little bone, these little marks right here very small but they are there but the leather's beautiful forgot about those little marks I remember those from before door panel very nice made for the age of this car I don't think you can really complain much about anything condition wise because it's far better than the norm so a tiny little scratch on the leather right there there's a couple little dimples right there but again very nice very very soft material there's the rubber floor mat on this side, so it's got the complete set of rubber mats all the way through and through. <clears throat> very, very nice, and, and it's awesome to drive. I mean, it is a V8, but great power, smooth, comfortable, heavy feeling. Um, let me operate the air suspension briefly. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the access mode. And we're gonna see it go down here. You can hear the compressor. There it goes. I call this the grandma setting. When grandma needs to get in the car, you can lower it down, and then it'll it'll uh, it'll go down. Uh, it will not move with the um, car in with the door open. So when you make the change, once you shut the door, it will begin to move. You can see the back pump up real quick. And then it'll go to the front. You can hear the compressor if you listen. So that's pretty much it right there. It, it kind of tweaks it out a little bit. It takes a second. I'm not going to stand there and make you watch every movement. And then the high level is the off-road height, which it won't drive at this height for speeds in excess of 22 miles an hour, I believe it is. It'll drop it back down to the normal level. You can see the difference on the clearance of the tires to the body of the car. It's still going up right now. It's pretty much there. Once it finishes going up, the compressor will kick off. Um, but you can see the height difference there. Let's take a look under the hood. You can hear the compressor. Oh, I think it just turned off. Very, very clean under here. There's the factory color name, like I told you, Logano Teal. I remember this from before. We did not replace this, but this coolant recovery tank definitely looks like it's been replaced more recently. Gonna 
hover here for a moment so you can listen to the engine. So, uh, you know what else I think this, let me turn these on. I think this has um, xenon lights, if I remember right, which is again, another benefit. And I do believe it has you know, xenon lights, fog lights, very cool. And I believe these lights are um, directional lights that they turn, if I remember right, from driving this at night. Don't, don't, don't hold me to that, but I do believe that is accurate. I'll take another look around here. Thanks for watching. Definitely uh, send us an email or call. That's our logo and phone number right there. See our three Camaro Firebird Trans Am cars. The one in the center, the silver one, just sold to a, some people in Michigan. We like things in threes. This is the only Range Rover we have. We have three Porsches right there. Carrera 4S, a Cayman, and a Boxster with 10,000 miles. Um, it's the only Range Rover, but they are definitely not easy to find in this kind of condition or these miles. So I would encourage you to uh, reach out to us if you're interested. You can't really go wrong for this kind of price and how much truck you get for the money and the low mileage that it has. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and reach out to us. We'll be happy to get you taken care of. Bye-bye.